Hi everyone and welcome back to our simple inventory system series. This series is designed for people who don't want to make a complex inventory system, just a simple one will do for their game. In the last episode we created our inventory system as well as the various variables and functions that we actually need. Let's go ahead and actually showcase how to actually use this stuff in the engine and debug it out. Let's take a look. So we've made our component and we need to add this to our player character. So I'm in the first person template, so I'm just going to the first person and I'm going to add it to our character here. AC inventory system. File save. So to actually add items to our inventory, you can do it with any sort of means you like. You can have an interaction system that you may already have, or you can just do a walk over and collect and pick up. Whatever it may be, eventually you just need to have a access to that reference of your inventory. So I'm going to create a basic item that I can pick up from the ground. So let's go ahead in the items folder, a blueprint class actor, pp item. And in here, I'm going to do a little cube to represent our item. And I'm going to make this smaller. We'll go to like 0 0.3, 3 0.3. Yeah, something like that. And I'll make this thing have an overlap collision. So I'm going to change its collision to be overlap all. So it doesn't block me when I walk into it. And But more importantly, it can be walked through and I can pick it up. So on the cube here, we're going to go to event graph. And you'll see active begin overlap. The other actor is going to be our player character. So we need to check, first of all, that this is, in fact, our player character. We don't want our enemies to walk over and stuff and pick it up by accident. So on the other actor, we can do equals to get player character. It'll just do that little check there. Okay. So once we've got that, we now want to pick up the item. So with the get player character, I can drag out and get component by class. And I'm going to choose my AC inventory system. And then from that, I can do add to inventory. Okay, so this item needs to know what is actually a color. So I'll promote this item variable here to a variable like that and the quantity as well to variable. and both of these i'm going to make editable so i'm going to turn on their little eyeballs and the variable list once it's done i'm going to do destroy actor remove it from the game that's all we need to do to make it pick up so it's going to walk through it check that we have a player first that's the condition we're checking first then we're getting access to our inventory system from the player character and then we're adding it to the inventory. All that's left to do is to place this item into the world and assign it the item we want to use. So I'm going to do a red gem, for example, and have the quantity of one. And as I walk into it, it'll be picked up and it'll disappear. Okay. So obviously we have no way to know what's actually in our inventory. So let's make a little debug uh, print string to debug this. So I'm going to go back to my inventory system and I'm going to create a function here, debug, print content. And I'm going to take my contents and because it's a map, we have to get the keys first of all. Keys will give us an array, which we can then do a for each on because you can't do a for each on a map. You can only do it on an array. So I'm going to do a for each loop with the array of keys and then we're going to take that and find the value that each one has. Okay, so now we've got the item and the value coming through here. I'm going to go to print string. And I'm going to build a string together using the append node here. So I'm going to put in in A, I'm going to put the array index. And then I'll put in 
Actually, I'll tell you what, we'll do a format text. That might be a bit nicer way of doing it. Let's do format text. Okay, so I'm going to do in curly brackets the letter I. Uh, you put whatever you like inside the curly brackets. It's just um, I'm using I because it's index. So that's going to be I for index, colon, space, uh, name. We'll put in there. Space equals space quantity. Get in code brackets. When you hit enter, it's going to create these parameters for our uh, format here. So I'm going to take the index, that's going to go into i. The name is going to come from the array element. So I'll search for name, that gets the name of our item. And the quantity will be the value coming from find. And then we're going to plug this straight into the print string. So now I just need to call this function um, when I want to display it. So what I'm going to do is go to my player character. And we'll just do it on the one key. I'll take a reference to my inventory system. And then I can call that debug print contents I made there. Okay. So if I was to go through my item now. Hit the one key, index zero, red gem equals one. Perfect. And if I was to make a few of these and take them out. One, three, red gem equals three. So that's working. Brilliant. Let's now try it with a different item. So let's bring that out here and change that to the blue gem. Pick up all these items. Uh, and then we get red gem equals three, blue gem equals one. And so this could be used with any different trigger. It doesn't have to be a collision that I've got over here. It could be handled by a code by talking to characters, bumping into characters, killing a character. Just as long as you've got a reference to the player character, which you should always have, you can always add items to it. So to demonstrate, if I wanted to say start the level off here uh, with something like, hey, give the player some items in here, I can just go into the level blueprint and I'll begin play, get the player character, get component by class, choose our AC inventory system, and then you want to do add to inventory. And I can choose what item I want. So I'm going to choose blue gem and we're going to add five of them. Let's start the game. So when I go into the game now, hit one key, start off with five blue gems. And I can pick up these ones. They'll work the exact same. So there you go. It's very simple to create and add things to your inventory now. And the same can be done for removing items from your inventory. So in the next episode, we're going to go through and showcase how to take that print string that you see in the corner there and make it more of a UI thing. Again, going back to a very simplified inventory system. If you want to watch that next episode right now, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. We can find all my videos early before anyone else. A massive thank you to all our patrons and YouTube members for their continued support in the channel. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone. Thank you.